Hey guys, this is Entrap Gaming here with uh, NHL 15 BGM mode. Um, and if you want me to continue the series, um, I'll be doing it probably once a week, something like that. Um, so leave a like if you want more BGM mode gameplay. Uh, so I'm just gonna make the league right now. And, uh, I'm playing as the Edmonton Oilers because they still suck. Um, I can say that because I'm a Oilers fan. But, uh, god, it's just brutal. So, um, I want to change up some things and, uh, So the season expectations will be uh, to be above 50% and to hopefully make the playoffs. Um, but I know one or both of those would be really good. So we'll leave we'll those two as the goal. So uh, the first episode will probably just trade players I don't like and uh, make the team a better team overall. Um, I'm probably gonna look for a few defensemen. I, uh, and something you should know, I don't like. I really don't like some players, like uh, Hall. <laughs> Everyone talks about him how he's the best player. Winners, um, I, I hate him. So I'm just gonna trade him because you know we do have a lo lot of elite players, right? So I. And like, you look at our centermen, we do have an issue with that. We have too many old centermen, like Gordon and Roy, they'll stay, right? They'll be really good players, but Hendricks and Clint Cameron, they gotta go. So, um, you know, Paul, he's gotta go, because I just don't like him. And we can get a lot of good players from trading him. We can get, uh you know, a really solid defenseman or someone from, like, Arizona, because we can get Max Domi, um, he can be a pretty good second line left winger, and then we will also get, uh, Ekman Larson for a really good defenseman, right? He can be on the top pairing, and then all of a sudden the team looks decent, um, doesn't look good yet, so we still to do some trades. Um, you look at defensemen though, we're pretty good, right? Like, we have a lot of good players, so nothing to worry about there. Maybe another defenseman would be good, but, you know, we have Victor Vosh and Ben Skinner, so we need to get rid of one of those, and we need to get some more NHL ready forwards, because our wing wingers are kind of lacking. So, we're just gonna trade Hendrix and Clinkhammer. Where is he? Clinkhammer. Oh, there he is. Um, I think they're great guys. Right? They're great for the team. They're great leaders and everything. It's just, um, they're not too good. And if I can get a younger player with better potential and the same, if not a bit higher overall, then one of them, or both of them, it's fine to trade them, right? So I'm gonna see if this trade works right now. Okay, so McMillan, he'd be really good. He's young, he's skilled. Um, that was a lopsided trade, I'll admit, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and uh, we needed a uh, third or fourth line centerman, so. So we're gonna go to Buffalo and trade away some of our picks for uh, some more depth added to the line. I don't think I need any more cinnamon. But they have like a really good cinnamon. Uh, NS, he's pretty good, but really there's no one that I need. So maybe left wing. Um, well, you know, he's, he's actually pretty good. 81 overall, 25 years old. Um, uh, yeah, okay, right wingers, um, uh, Stuart, he's pretty good, he's got low trade value, which is nice, 
Um, decent. Not good, but decent. Um, I think if I put in a player, it'll go through someone like uh, Ferentz, right? Because he has, he takes up a lot of uh, our cap space, and he's not that good. He's old, and he's not good. So we'll trade him, and we'll we'll, we'll add Myers. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe throw in Pittsburgh's first round pick. Uh, not, again, not a good trade for us, but it's getting the stuff we need. Right? Um, so, let's go and look at our defense quickly, because this is pretty amazing. All of a sudden, we have an amazing defense. We have Larson, Meyer, Schultz, Petrie, Keaton, and Fink as NHL defensemen. Right, um, so that's really good. Uh, we could use still some fourth line wingers, uh, ideally. And our centermen are pretty good. Um, okay. So yeah, we just need a left winger and a right winger, ideally. So we can trade a goalie. Right, because we still have these two. Vosh, he's the better player to trade because he takes more salary space, and he's older. Um, hmm. uh, let's look at right wingers. He's not, he's not good, but he's not bad, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I think I should maybe get him, uh, and, well, not Seaman, uh, there, do they have a left winger? Um, Oh boy, Chuck, he's got some time, he's got some potential. Pretty good overall. Uh, okay, I have to get rid of another player. <sighs> Who do I need to get rid of? Um, don't get me wrong, I want to get rid of a lot of players, but. Um, hmm. Okay, um, I'll get rid of Pitlick. It's not a good thing, but he's green and. That, that'll make the trade go through easier. Um, I just want to get a pick so that I don't feel as ripped off as I should, because they're getting the better end of the deal. He's a good goalie and a player with some potential. So, uh, yeah. I think that's it. Um, yeah, um, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I just remembered. I normally get this goalie every year um, that I, like every time I do a BGM because he's really good. Um, he's got high potential, decent age, and uh, uh, low trade value when you get him, right? Uh, Alan, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Um, normally he's elite, I don't know why he's NHL starter this time, but whatever. Um, I think honestly if I just trade a pick, oh, okay, so, we'll trade just a shitty goalie for him, then, uh, we'll trade Buns or Bob, we'll trade this guy, I don't even know how to say his name. Okay, good, we got another good trade, um, let's go get a free agent. There's also a really good centerman to get, right? Um, I really hope I can get him. He'll be a really good third or fourth line centerman. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Uh, Locktenpin? I don't know. He's a top nine forward with mid potential. He's 24 years old. He doesn't really want any contract, so we can just get him easy overall. That's pretty good. Um, so let's go make the rosters and the lines, and uh, then we'll do a little uh, trial of the team in this episode. So, okay, centerman, we'll get rid of Lander, he's a good player, but we don't need him. Okay, so boy Chuck, he'll be the only eh player on the team, so... Okay, that's good. 
Um, Frazier, we can send him down because he's good, but. Ugh. Okay, now for the good part <laughs> defense. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so we'll send down. Um, um, this is tough. I don't want to play Allen because he's lower than Skirvins, and I want to make a push for the playoffs. Um, but I don't want him sitting on the bench, so we'll send down him. Uh, okay, that's to make the lines. Um, no. Okay, Nuge, Everly, Purcell. Um, I don't know if I like that. Two playmakers and one sniper, and then my second line. They're pretty good too. So maybe if I can spread out the skill a bit, my team will be better. So I'll put. Uh, I should. Ethos gotta go up a bit. Um, he's another player I wanted him to do really good, so I feel like that'll help us out. So, first of all, he'll go on the third line. Yeah, Pouillot will go on the top line. Ekhoff will go on the second line. Um, we'll put three. I don't know how to say three. We'll put him on the top line. I'll, we'll probably change that later, but whatever. Defense, nothing really to change. Two middles on the top line. That's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Um, okay, we'll put Yakupov also on the power play um, so that he gets a better plus minus and more shots and hopefully more points. Um, okay, uh, like here we have two offensive defensemen on the top line. Don't necessarily like how yeah, Jeff Petrie is there, but uh, Scrivens, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, what? Okay, so we'll we'll send ten games and uh, we'll end it. Okay, we'll just send two thirty first. That's ten games. We should see how the team will do roughly. Um, okay. Because he is pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we got a win. Um. Okay. Like I said, I want to go 50% this season, and hopefully make the playoffs. So. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's hope we can be LA. Puya on to the top line if we're losing games later on. Uh, just or Purcell just to get a better top line. Okay, so we finally got a win. They were thirty-two and two. Um, okay. Two and three, that's pretty good. That's 13 points in 10 games. So uh, I guess I'll end the video with uh, the point leader. Wow. Um, oh my god, it's the point leader. <laughs> This has been Sandtrap Gaming here. Peace.